down. Welcome to the Brutal Fruit Spritzer Saturday Round. As Iola just did my face as always, my trusted makeup artist in Cape Town. Guys, they want to lay beat. You gotta get into it. He blushed to see fucking how cool because I'm only working in three hours and the first thing to disappear from your face is e blush. So you always have to put like a bit extra uh, in terms of blush, uh, but everything else is just like so nice, subtle, but also so glam. Uh, but yes, yeah, I'm going to see at Durbanville. Yo, the drive is gonna be in about an hour and I'm gonna sleep in the car for sure. I just received my script, just received it. But because I've been doing this event for like three cities, for, this is the third city, uh, nothing much changes. It's mostly like just the artists that are changing and a little bit of ad libs there, here and there, but like I don't think there's anything much that's like different. So, ooh. so yeah. Yeah, I'm bagging good guys. And then I'm gonna fix my hair later because I can't go with my hair fixed because it kills us our as I said I'm only working in three hours so it kills us our son. So yeah, check you later. I wanna tell you something about myself. Genuinely, I think I'm beautiful. Like that you cannot make me unbelieve <laughs> like that's so crazy but like some days obviously i feel like oh i look so crusty or whatever but like genuinely i think damn what a beautiful woman that's how i feel about myself and um the brand manager for brutal fruit literally just re left my room we were doing last minute like uh, briefings on the script because obviously it is a script that uh we've been using for the past couple of uh, months or for the past three events so it's nothing really new but we kind of have to adapt it for for each event and any announcement any changes and any like learnings that we learned from the previous event and you just kind of apply them so yeah okay i kind of like messed up my hair a bit so it is shading a bit but not too much really not too much but you must remember that when you curl your hair and then you mess it up during the day and you don't wear iliduga ibonet, it does kind of just like uh, tangle up and then yeah, it just needs a bit of like care again. But I feel so pretty. I feel so gorgeous. I feel really good. But gay, okay, I'm also tired. I don't want to lie, guys. I slept so late. Everything that happened last night was just like one of those where I was just like, wow. A lot happened last night, but okay, I made it. I'm super sleepy, but I'm gonna have to bring the energy because I'm the official host of the event. People are expecting me to be great. So no one else speaks on stage or appears on stage as much as I do. No brand manager. It's literally just like the artist and myself. And the artists only play or perform for an hour and then they're gone with me. I'm there for the full seven hours. So I have to always like bring my energy and just like make everyone feel at home because people are also raving about, oh, it was so lovely to meet Pam. She was so nice. Or she took pictures with us. She was so patient. She went table by table. So if you see that on social media, you definitely want to experience it for yourself as well. So I have to give nothing less. Um, but yeah, 
there I am guys I'm so obsessed with this hair to think that I actually didn't want to do this thing um, I'm actually quite happy and ended up doing it so yeah here's the outfit no so here's the hair <laughs> so let me change quickly he painted guys yeah they look in design room but I actually forgot it in Joburg so now for now and then my friend is going to bring underwear from either a Woolies it's going to be nude but if they buy from Ackermans or something she's going to buy it in the kitty section and obviously in the kitty section you can find a pink uh, underwear I uh, found with 13 to 14 <laughs> but anyway yeah there I am looking so good 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 and then we're gonna do our lipstick i hadn't done my lipstick because it just fades so i always just apply my lipstick when it's time to go on stage so now it's literally five minutes until i have to leave my hotel room so these are my outfits by the way i don't quite like this one because i understand why my designer used uh, this fabric for pants and a different fabric for top because the top can easily fit me but I know the pants with my big thighs and fupa and smaller waist it really just becomes a bit of a mission so I get why she used it but uh, I'm not sure so I'm just gonna have to try it on but I don't have much time so I just want to go straight into the main outfit of the day and I might not change kind of really really obsessed with this dress but i'm just not sure because of the panty that i left in joburg so okay here is my face <clears throat> what a beautiful girl like i am so obsessed with myself beautiful i wish i did more hairstyles like like this i usually wear like most of my hair straight and simple but i kind of like having a hairstyle so yeah guys so far the back doesn't show that it's uh my bum is out so i'm praying for the front so it kind of does show but for now i can try and roughen it up here for the first stage performance or appearance and then for the second time i'll just um, be wearing the pink underwear because at the back it's perfect now i need someone to help me tie this dress so yeah oh my god this is how we look we are finally done the event has started cape town is absolutely stunning durbanville durbanville yes let's go quite big so spacious so cute and uh, I think we kind of fixed my wardrobe woes and uh, I cannot wait to see how it looks on stage because wow, wow what a dress uh, guys I think it's time to lie to all my designers don't tell people they have time that's my biggest issue telling people that they have time because wow my dress was fixed um, and it still isn't like 100% ready because it's just like it's falling apart and and I couldn't go for a fitting because it wasn't ready and this dress was meant for the 12th of November and didn't work out I sent it back and they only started fixing it yesterday or like Thursday but I'm not gonna drag my, my, my designer she always pulls through for me so I'm not gonna drag her but consider this a drag for all designers but anyway, let me show you guys. I'm about to go on stage. But like, yeah, you have to see this. Hello, hi everybody. I think I can hear you, Cape Town. Welcome to the Brutal Fruit Spritzer Saturday Brunch. Now this is the Cape Town edition, so it has to go up. We've been going on a tri-city tour and this is our final spot. Now rumor has it, Durban might have had the best vibe. Cape Town. What are you gonna do about that? Sazamona! Ah, oh, I know that's right! 
right and never ever wrong. My name is Pam Tanga, and I'm your host for today and we are going to have a good time. Besties, I'd like to hear you say hashtag you belong in 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1! Did anybody hear anything? Because I kind of didn't. I said, this is our final stop. Now you being one of the seven wonders of the world. I think we're going to need to hear you a little bit louder than that. Are we ready? Okay. Cape Town, welcome to the Brutal Fruit Spritzer Saturday Brown. Now, Brutal Fruit has brought us here together today to celebrate ourselves, celebrate our besties, and remind ourselves that we're all powerful, we're all anointed, and whatever glory we bring to each and every room we walk in, we're also deserving at every seat of any table that we choose to walk into. So, cheers to you, cheers to us. Today, we're celebrating ourselves. If you came here alone, I hope you make a bestie, but if you came with your besties, I hope it strengthens your bond and takes takes it to the very next level. Cheers to that! besties it's been quite the year right yeah. it's been quite the year Go. some have said they're yours of your this year but yet we all here still standing and because i love you besties and bruce and fruit want to have this special moment with you all. I want you to repeat after me. I don't know. I want you to repeat after me. 
Besti. Besti. You are divine majesty. You are divine majesty. You are clothed with charisma and confidence. You are clothed with charisma and confidence. You exude all the power and the glory you walk with. You exude all the power and glory you walk with. You deserve to be at any table that you want to be at. You deserve to be at any table that you want to be at. You deserve to be successful. You deserve to be successful. You deserve to make all the money in the world. And have fun. You deserve to let loose and have fun while simultaneously being a badass mom, sister, sister, friend, friend, bestie, bestie, daughter, daughter, because, because you, you are. Because my boo thing said, you've been working super hard, baby girl. Let's go cheat you. I'm quickly doing the spa treatment, and then right after the spa treatment, I'm gonna go to um, the timeout market to just to get fry meat and be on my way to the house. From the house, I'm going to the airport because I'm supposed to leave today. My treatment is like 19 minutes long, so it's already like super long, and my flight is at five. So I can't afford to be late for my flight. But yeah, I'm also, I'm also just don't want to rush myself. So yeah, yeah. Maybe I might change my my 
flight actually, maybe till like 6 p.m. to be safe. Okay, finally done with my treatment. Okay, now we're going to grab some food and then straight after grabbing some food, I am going to rush to the airport. So, bye. When I say there's a lot to see in Cape Town if you compare it to Joburg, I mean it. Because if it was this wasn't Joburg, I would have seen it in my first visit. Because it would have been the main source of attraction. Okay? It is so beautiful. I'm just like geeking. Um, there's so much art as well, food, clothes, just so much to see. But um corn. I mean, well, like, guys, that my dietitian wants to see me tomorrow, and and did a mahali, and ayo, like, and a mahali, from Kimalamu. <laughs> I don't know why my the entire day the entire the entire day but anyway this is our final day and I still need to go home and charge so we're gonna go see my friend it's her birthday today but yeah let's see how the day goes. 